Okay? So these are solved questions. Solved equations. In solved questions, solved question is only done when you have x equals something, x equals something. Everybody got that? Now, we're, there are, there are uh, let me see, there are primarily three types, okay? Uh, question 6 is the first type. x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. You get the reference number. And what happens when you get the reference number? Two numbers that will multiply to give you 9, but add together to give you minus 6. Minus 3 and minus 3. There are two checks to make sure you're right. What are the two checks? And if it multiplies, give you plus 9. It does. Because it's, in, it's a 1x squared, what you can afford to do is you can afford to go straight in to the brackets. And then you're going to have two answers. You're going to have x minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. As it turns out, they're both the same. Answer, x equals 3. Yes, Ken? Uh, you don't get two answers for x. Uh, they're linear equations. They're not in this full exercise at the moment. So we'll concentrate on them at a later date. Okay? All right. So that was when I have a 1x squared. What happens when you have, a, uh, as an example, a 5x squared? Okay. Reference number? Minus 15. Two numbers that will multiply to give you minus 15, but will add to give you plus 14. Minus 1 and 15. Right now, 5x squared minus 1x plus minus 3 equals 0. You could also have it written as 5x squared plus 15x minus 1x minus 3 equals 0. Everybody understand that? Both ways will work. It doesn't matter. The main thing is these two parts in the middle, what happens when you add them together? What happens when you add them together? They'll give you your 14. What can I take out the first two? And in there? 1. What's the rule? That's in here as well. And what goes in here? What multiplies 5x to give you 3, plus 3. And finally, to finish it off, it's x plus 3 and 5x minus 1 equals 0. So look, we've yes, Josh. What do you mean? Uh, you can do the first one like that. It's just, it, it, this one, take, yeah. When it's not a, when it's, when it's a 1x squared at the start, there's a really short way of doing it. Okay, you can go really quick and get it done really fast. You can do the 1x squared the long way as well, and it'll still work, but it just takes longer. So after this question, I'll make up a 1x squared one, and I'll show you the long way of doing that. Okay, just you can keep it. You can keep them all the same if you want. Okay, I, I get you. Okay, I can show you what to do there. Now, uh, here, guys, as well. Take out 5x and what you left with. This one here. 5x into x plus 3, and then uh, you know the second bracket has to be the same, so what goes in here? Minus 1. And what you know is about both answers now? They're both the same. What's the only difference? The order. Uh, 2 multiplied by 3 equals 3 multiplied by 2. Same thing. Solving it, what do we get then? x plus 3 equals x equals, and then uh, 5x minus 1 equals 0, 5x equals, uh, Kane, these are these linear equations you're talking about, 5x equals 1x equals, uh, one, uh, it's multiplied by 5, goes on the right hand side, it's divided by 5. Everybody cool with that? Okay, now, if I was, uh, I was asked about doing a one similar to this one but using the reference number instead I'll make up one okay uh, x squared I'll put a minus 12 at the end and I'll put a minus 4x in the middle solve that okay what's the reference number minus 12 
two numbers that will multiply to give you minus 12, but yet will add to give you minus 4. Plus 2. Uh, when you have a negative reference number, one of them has to be minus and one of them has to be positive. When you have a positive reference number, it would be two minuses or two positives. Now, what you would like me to do would be to extend it like this. Okay? And then you go x bracket x minus 6 plus 2 bracket x minus 6 equals 0. And then you'd want x plus 2 bracket uh, x minus 6 equals 0. See, what happens is you can just go from there to there. But if you want to do it the one way for every question, that's okay as well. So it's the same It's the same answer as if I just threw the reference numbers right into the brackets with them. So that, that will always work out for 1x squared questions. Okay? Uh, does anybody have... Yeah. Yeah. And x minus 6 equals 0. x equals 6. Uh, for all these ones, yeah. All solved questions will be like this, okay? Now, guys, what we're doing next, then, is we're looking at uh, the likes of uh, these two questions here. Okay? One of them's x squared minus 3x equals 0. The other one is x squared minus 4 equals 0. Okay, any, any ideas how to do the number 3? x brackets. x minus 3 equals 0. Okay, there's actually two numbers being multiplied by each other. This one's the first number, and that one in there is the second number. When two numbers multiply by each other, and the answer is zero, it must mean one of the numbers is zero. So what you do is you say, either x is the zero, or the x minus three is the zero. Okay, and what you have then, x equals three, and x equals zero. Look at this one. Is there anything I can take out of them? Now, uh, that's the difference of two squares, but I am not taking out anything that's common to both of them, am I? No, you're right though, but what I'm trying to say is, in this one, I can take out something. In this one, I can't. So, this means I probably have to use the difference of two squares. Okay? So, it's what Josh said, 4 is the same as 2 squared, so it's x plus 2 equals 0, and then x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 2, x equals minus 2. Okay, now, how they're really going to try and catch you out is using the likes of question 10. And question 10, question 10 doesn't resemble the other questions we had earlier. Why does it not resemble the other questions we had earlier? There's no equal to zero on the right hand side. Rory, how do you correct that? Bring them over. Okay, so what's the order? X squared followed by X followed by number x squared followed by x followed by number every time ever okay so ax squared goes first what goes second plus 6x what goes third minus 9 reference number of minus 72 it's going to be uh plus 12 minus 6 ax squared plus 12x minus 6x minus 9 equals 0 you're then going to take out 4x bracket 2x plus 3. You're going to take away your 3 and you're going to have a 2x plus 3 here as well. Then you're going to have 4x minus 3 bracket 2x plus 3 equals 0. You then have two linear equations to solve. 4x minus 3 equals 0 or 2x plus 3 equals 0. 2x equals minus 3. x equals... Anybody? Minus 3 over 2. 4x equals 3, x equals 3 over 4. That's the only way they can get you. Likewise, this one here, just bring it over to the other side. And then turn it into that question, and then, s and then take out what they have in common. x, right? So that's how you do that one there. Now, moving on. These questions have a key word in them. What's the key word? 
solve. So I won't be happy unless I have x equals something followed by x equals something. What's another keyword? Third form. If it says two decimal places, or it says decimal places, or if it says third form, what does that automatically link us into? The quadratic formula, otherwise known as the minus b formula. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, you guys are very familiar with this formula. You learned that at junior search. x squared plus 10x minus 23 equals 0. Can anybody tell me how to do this? What's the a value? No. It's the numbers that come in front of them. A is 1. B, 10. Minus B. C, minus 23. Now, any of you that have ever made a mistake on one of these, they're really easy. And I'll show you how to never make a mistake again. Uh, what is minus B? Minus 10. Now, here's what I do. And... I rarely have ever made any mistakes on these, okay? Here's what you do. Instead of writing in the letters, write in hollow brackets. Do this every time. Do you see that? Every time that's what you put in, and you put that in like that. Then you come across and go, okay, what, what, what ones am I actually doing for this question? I'm doing A is 1. Fill it in in the A position. I'm doing B is 10. Okay, and I'm doing C is minus 23. Can anybody remember from junior cert, what do I always do in these questions? Do the square root first. I put that all into my calculator. I waste no time whatsoever. Squared on the outside, not the inside. 4 bracket 1 bracket minus 23 close bracket. Answer is 8 root 3. So uh, x equals minus 10 plus or minus 8 root 3 all over 2. Now here's the interesting part, okay? Remember last time uh, my it's going to be minus 10 plus 8, 8 root 3 over 2 or... Now remember what we did earlier on today where I asked you guys to add uh, 5 over 3 plus uh, 2 over 3. Remember I said you can you can join the fractions or you can separate them back out. I'm going to I'm going to suggest that you separate them back out and then just do it in your head. What's minus 10 divided by 2? Minus 5. What's 8 root 3 divided by 2? 4 of them. 8 objects divided by 2 is far of the same object. Ken? I know, but uh, your honor level, you can't put everything into the calculator. You've got to be getting a bit quicker. Okay? Uh, this, this, this is quicker for me than putting in the calculator. It's all right to put in the calculator for one or two, but you're, you're expected towards the end that you can just start, you can start doing a bit more in your head. See, look at this. How would you explain that answer to somebody who didn't know how to use calculator? It's minus 10 divided by 2 gets you your minus 5. The 8 root 3 divided by 2 gets you your 4 root 3. I don't think that's necessary, necessary for the calculator. Okay? And that's the other one. Now, if, if you want it in decimals, however, it is necessary to use the calculator. Minus 1.9, uh, 3 we'll call it. And then, if you're really looking to save time, I always am. Just keep, just press across, delete the plus, turn it into a minus, and you get 11 point minus 11.93. Everybody happy enough with that? Okay. Now, uh, that's this exercise complete. I'm gonna give.